Hello, welcome back. I'm the Game Beaver, and today I'm going to be doing something that will probably I'll never do again, uh, for good reason and for for bad reasons as well. Sorry, my hair's a bit crazy. These are what I have in my Pokemon TGC or uh, trading card game collection so far. These are rare, rare items, um, and I have been like saving, buying packages, going online finding the best deals and doing this for a while now. So I have accumulated a crud ton of uh, packages that I haven't opened. So this is gonna be an unboxing of all the packages I've gotten and I, I, I can barely remember what is in them. So it, it should be uh, entertaining to see, um, see what we've got. So I'm gonna quickly show you what I've got here. So this is the unlimited base uh, box Pokemon cards. It's what I had as a kid. Basically, I bought these because of nostalgia. This is my childhood. I remember going, buying Pokemon cards in Safeway when I was in town, just trading with my friends. I never played it, but I would trade them. So I'll give you a quick uh, spin of it. This is just the regular one. This is the unlimited one. You just have a blue wing Charizard. Oh yeah, don't worry. This, low this one has so many varieties, so many different things. Um, and what's amazing is this now, uh, back then it go it, it probably went for maybe a hundred, a hundred pounds for a whole box of 32 or 36 it is. Uh, now, these ones, this, the one that everybody wants, go for about 800 to a thousand pounds. I ain't even joking. That's how much they go for. Uh, and I, I was talking to a friend who is also into uh, Pokemon cards. And he said about two or three years ago, he split, he put in 50 quid with three of his friends, so I'm guessing maybe 150 to 200 pound. And they bought one of these online and just opened them all. Nobody's gonna do this anymore. These, all of these, are collector items. If you wanna unopen them and unbox them, uh, the reason why they're so expensive is because so many channels on YouTube have uh, been buying them, unboxing them, so uh, there's basically very few left of these trading cards. Uh, this next one is a jungle box. You might remember this if you're as old as I am, or at least, you know, uh, play the TGC game. These are, I don't think they work anymore. They're, they're all like banned decks. So this is the first edition jungle set. A not as expensive. This one probably goes for about 300 to 400 pound, maybe 500. Uh, the unlimited version, probably 200 to 300 pound. Um, so you got a lovely Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff, Cypher. Gotta love Cypher. <laughs> this, yeah, this was a uh, um, first edition one. The other one that goes with in tandem to this one is the Fossil First Edition. This is another one that's probably about 200, 300 pound if it was unlimited. This is the first edition, which means all cards inside will have a little first edition logo and saying that, yeah, it's first edition. Um, now, this one is where my nostalgia ends. I will be collecting all, well, I want to make a huge collection. I just want to have them all on show and just make this beautiful, beautiful, uh, like, case or stand of all of them. Um, this is the Pokemon Neo Genesis. This is gold and silver. When I was a kid, that's as far as I got up to. I played gold and silver, collected the cards, at least from Neo Genesis. Then after that, I don't know what happened. Um, so this one is a first edition Neo Genesis. Again, it's another rare one. This one can go from anywhere from 800 pound online to over a thousand. It's, it's basically like the base set. This is base set gen two, basically. That's what we're talking about here. Um, they're a little slow king, slow king there, Gligar. I probably know like all of the uh, one person second generation Pokemon. Uh, the cards, like the little packs, we have, um, I have the first edition uh, fossil ones, which is Lapras, Zapdos, I always say Zapdos, I, uh, Zapdos, but I get it because it's uno, dos, tres, and Aerodactyl, there you go. You have the three of them there. Um, the other cards I have in packs are the original, I think these are called long packs. I don't, I don't know. There is, there is different versions. There is a long pack that has a cardboard back with art to it. Uh, this is has the little um, flappy bit on top where they would have them on a on a on a stand or something on a peg. Uh, so we have the Charizard of that, the Venusaur of that, and the Blastoise of that. So the, this, as of now, is my Pokemon collection. We're about to go crazy. 
crazy, absolutely crazy. I'm gonna shift these because I have a crumpton box. It's just crumpton, there's so many of them. So I'm gonna get started. Remember, don't use knives and scissors, children. You'll kill yourself. And now I won't get parents after me. Right, let's get a crack on into this one. Ooh, a lovely little letter. I've got to be careful not to show show my like address in these. Uh, ooh, what is this? Oh, it's a big thank you letter. Well, I, I don't even know what it is. So, well, I've completely forgotten is the word. I'm gonna put on packaging down there. A ton of bubble wrap. Oh my god, it, this thing is like. Can you see that? That is just all bubble wrap. I can already tell what it is. It is a base two. Uh, Base? Is it po Pokemon Base 2 cards? Uh, these ones, th a box, sorry. This one has the, the regular. It also has the jungle cards, and I think some of the fossil. I don't know if it's all of the jungle and all the fossil, but Base 2 is actually a box that I do want to do an opening on. Oh, it's got cardboard next to it as well. Oh, wow, they did a tremendous job of this. Oh, hats off to you! Who did, who, uh, fuck is this one? And there we go. This is a base two set. Now, apparently the cards in here, the hollows, are they look much nicer than the original base sets. Uh, if you, like, I have all of the sets. Uh, like, to stop me opening these, I bought all of the cards. And um, so I won't look at this and go, ooh, I wanna open it. Some of them I will open on my channel, don't worry. Uh, and maybe one of these, because you, well, you're about to see what I've got. So and you'll be like, ooh, yeah, he could open, he could unbox one of those. So yeah, this is the base two. Um, like, I think it has the fossil, jungle, and regular base sets in. The cards are supposed to be a lot nicer. A lot nicer. The hollows look way more 3D and just lovely. And base two is not, it's underestimated. Like, nobody has base two, or very few, um, very few people collected base two that I knew of. And if you wanted base, the base set, you just go for the that one anyway. Uh, now to the next one. I'm gonna go for a little card, little card one. Eh. Eh. Yeah. That was an easy one to unbox. And we have real fruit. Thank you. What, what's in here? What is this? Is this the, aha, jungle boosters. Yeah. Jungle boosters, these are first edition with a Flareon pack. And I've just dropped the other one. The Scyther pack. Scyther! And the Wigglytuff pack. That's gonna, I think I bought these absolutely ages ago. Um, and that's gonna complete like the first edition of Jungle and Fossil and the just actually no, I don't have I'll tell you what the first edition of this little baby. Do you wanna know how much it goes for? First edition box of an uh, base one Ten thousand pound Tell ten thousand dollars. I'm not even kidding ten thousand Oh, it's not, that is just crazy money. I would never spend ten thousand pound on that uh, the individual packets go for about two hundred pound. Uh, so let's, let's just crack on with this one. Oh, this is just nostalgia, nostalgia everywhere. Okay, these I think are the original. I don't know if it's all of them actually. The original little um, decks you would buy. So we have the these are pre-constructed desks, decks with cards already like made in, inside them. So, like, you know what you're gonna get. This is the Zap Pack. We also have the Blackout Pack. Uh, the Zap Pack, I think, came with Mewtwo. Um, I can't remember now. Because on the back, they usually... Yeah, I, I imagine... I feel like I got this one and felt disappointed when I didn't get a Mewtwo. Anyway, you can easily find out online. This one is the Blackout. So that one has definitely Hitmonchan. I remember Hitmonchan. It doesn't have Blastoise. That I remember. This is the Overgrow set. I did have one of these because this one comes with a Gyarados, if I remember right. And the Burst Fire set. Now you might be thinking, oh look, it's got a Charmeleon. A really, the original Gen 1, horribly deformed Charmeleon on. Oh, I'm going to get a Charizard. No, you're not getting a Charizard in here. Uh, but these ones come with counters. I can hear them shaking about. And I love them, they're like little gems. So I'm going to put them, I'm going to put them over there. Did I cut through it? Oh, I didn't, thank God. It must be the same person, because they put it in like... A little food thing. Oh. Oh, that's right. The, there we go. These are the non-long pack base sets. I remember because I bought those and I was like, no, they've got the little tags on. I don't want those. 
These are the ones that like straight out of the packet. Out of the box, sorry. These ones, again, we got Bulbas, uh, Venusaur, Charizard, and Blastoise. Awesome. That's gonna complete the set. What I kinda wanna do is um, have like base set there, then three cards, like sort of, of the uh, card arts out there, like the packs around, and then have another one to the left of it or right of it or somewhere that's open and it shows like all 36 of them. That's that's what I'm going for here. We'll, well, we'll see. We'll see what we get. I I had a mad spending spree not too long ago. This one's so light. I don't like how this is so light. Oh, I know what that one is. I know what that one is. That is actually some Battle Frontier toys, actually. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take this out because um, this was actually a charity. Funnily enough, uh, if you want to find some things on the cheap, like Pokemon cards, Pokemon toys, I would suggest not just looking on Amazon or eBay. Uh, just do a general, um, a general look on the internet because you can find some really, really good deals out there. And this was from Hospice of St. Francis. Uh, I don't know if you're in America, I don't, I don't know if they have one there. <laughs> we have one in England. And I, like, it was really dead cheap. And I was just like, these are almost like mint condition stuff. So heck yeah, I was gonna buy that. Oh my God, they used a lot of packaging for this. Wow, okay. Don't. Spoil it. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna put you down there. Oh my god, I'm accumulating a lot of rubbish. This this is what I played with as a kid. I love these. I have like loads of them. Absolutely loads of them. Again, I just if I could, I would make a shop. I would just have a shop that is just nostalgia. Like Pokemon toys, Pokemon cards. And people can just walk through and be like, oh my god, that's that. That is amazing. Cause yeah, this is Slowpoke and Slowbro. I think I originally had this one. Because I do have a, a few of these from my childhood, actually quite a lot of them, I say a few, a lot. So, and then on the back you get Pikachu, Raichu, Pidgey, Pidgeot, Slowpoke, Slowbro, Dratini, Dragonair, Golden Seeking, and Horsey, and Cedra. Sorry, I, I can't see that, so I'm just, yeah, I, I, I'm sad, I know them all. I'm going to put this one, ooh, we have a, oh, 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 yeah, there we go, I remember that buying these ones. <laughs> this is let's get them off the table. These are the T Rocket um, first edition booster deck, booster packs. That's right. Um, are these like resealed? No, they're not resealed. That's that's a weird way of packaging them though. Yeah, yeah. These ones for some odd reason usually the decks have three arts. These ones have four. So you have a Gyarados with a little. Charizard? I think that's actually a card that they have. Like that I, might actually be a card. That one is Jesse and James. Prepare for trouble! Giovanni and uh, a, a mix of two of, of all of them actually. So yeah, there we go. Oh god! This is Bossy the Parcel! It's, it's, it's wrapped up again even more. Okay. Oh! Oh yes. This! This is why this one is wrapped up so, so, like, well. This is a really, really hard to get your hands on, expensive. Ex I, I'm, I say expensive because I mean literally expensive. I'm being very careful because I do not want to cut this at all. And there we go! Oh, okay. This is the legendary Pokemon collection legendary collection pokemon legendary collection this has all of the cards and i'll just take a quick uh, 360 of the box you have gengar pidgeotto and venusaur there with a machamp and mewtwo Ooh, look at machamp he's like ah, ground and mewtwo's like i just hands <laughs> kabutops and <gasps> arcana and vaporeon the this i never saw as a kid never even knew it existed um really 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 rare uh, this, inside here, you can get Charizard, you can get Blastoise, you can get Venusaur, ri literally the old box set. You can also get the Team Rocket set, so you can get Dark Charizard, I think. You can get the Fossil, you can get the Jungle. Um, am I missing anything? I think maybe that's it. But the cards all have a little symbol at the, at the right of the picture, which means they're from a legendary collection. The cards are supposed to be thicker, nicer quality, and the hollows are supposed to look beautiful. When you open this, you get a, um, a topper. A card topper. The card is just like a regular card, 
it also it's about as big as the as the deck. For example, I'll get you how big a card is. The uh, the box topper fills up the the uh, missing space there, like that bit fills up that. It is um, it's not it's it can be anything. You can get a Charizard, and it looks awesome. It's huge. It's awesome. Uh, each of the, actually these cards inside here, none of them I think have energy cards. They're all they're all thick. They're all beautiful. You you're almost guaranteed a rare like a um, a good card in each of the packs. And the very last card is a reverse hollow. And this reverse hollow, what it means is instead of the uh, card with the Pokemon, this little bit being hollow, this all of this bit all around is. Hollow. It's all shiny, um, and these are extremely, extremely rare and very expensive. I was on Amazon looking at buying one of these actually, and the price was about two thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars. Now, for what it is, that's even I, even that's expensive. I, I wouldn't do that. And then when um, one on eBay went for about a little bit more, it, it was something like or a little bit less, they decided to bump up. The price to four or five thousand dollars for a single one of these. I got in touch with the seller, and apparently he's listing only one. He's but I said he, he, no. He told me he had about six or seven of them. It's ridiculous. Do not buy something that's worth that much money. That's cards. I got this one under. Uh, it's still pretty expensive, but not that expensive. So don't worry. I'm not spending my hard-earned YouTube's money on that. Collect them. Me, I might unbox some of these. So. Yeah, it's the same person. They always put it in a little, like, a little food. What is this drumstick? Oh! <gasps> you know what it is? We don't get these. We don't get these in England. These ice creams. Good, 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 good shot. They're beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I like them. Mmm. Damn, damn. I did actually buy uh, a booster box. It was the Jungle Unlimited. And it came, but it had a huge cut in the side of it. Literally, Customs or whoever had cut straight through the side of the box and into some of the cards. And I phoned up customs, I phoned up everywhere. Nobody was gonna take responsibility for it. In the end, I had to send it back and I was, I was actually really, really like, I felt bad for the seller because he's lost a ton of money. Ah, oh, here we go. Here we go. This, this, these are some rare ones. Oh yes. If you know anything about the base sets, you just have the unlimited and the first edition. They're the ones that everybody knows. These are the shadowless. That means that on the, uh, if we look at Chansey, you will see there is a shadow running the side of, uh, of that card. Now the shadowless don't have that, or, or for obvious reasons, they're shadowless, but they're not first edition. It's sort of like a weird mess up that the uh, production company did. I don't know if it's deliberate, but most of the shadow, and the, w the way you know that these are shadowless is if you look at the pack, there you go, you see that there? You see that little, uh, like all of them have that. It's like three cards, three back of cards. That there means that there's a chance that these cards will be shadowless. Most of the shadowless packs actually just have unlimited, uh, like basically these cards in. So um, these packs are a lot rarer and uh, a lot more expensive than the actual shadowless cards themselves. And if you open it, chances are you're gonna spend a bit of money or on just a regular unlimited uh, booster pack. Booster, these booster packs go for about um, 50 pound each. I would say roughly 50 pounds. Uh, the regular packs go for about 20. You can't get like normal packs less than 20 pound. If you can, you're lucky, get it, buy it, it's a bargain. <laughs> Okay, moving on to this baby, this little beauty. Oh god, which side can I show you without giving away my address? And there's only one thing in here! Argabush! Is that it? There's just one thing? I need to search. For the, is there anything? Oh, I just got marshmallows everywhere. I've got marshmallows everywhere. I'm gonna seal that up. <laughs> Close. Never open again. You have to be very careful when taking these out because if you break that seal, the price goes all the way down. So here we have another. Hold on, let me focus. Eh. There we go. We have another base set box again. There is so many varieties. There are ones with uh, green wing Charizard boxes on. Apparently, the green winged 
uh, versions uh, have most likely of getting a full all shadowless all shadowless cards again that would be worth a lot but there's no way of telling there really is no way of telling some of them have uh, don't have the wizards of the coast logo like they don't have this uh, watermark on them they're supposed to have a high more chance of them also on the bottom depending on where they were made i don't know if you can see that and there's no point because i'm not even bothering looking uh, depending on where it was made that's the chance of whether it's shadowless or not there was there's so many varieties of these to to go that uh, like if you were collecting you'd have to spend an absolute fortune did i only buy one god there's newspaper you can tell this one's from england <laughs> Newspaper everywhere. I'm going to put all of it back in there so it doesn't clog up the space. So this is actually, this is really, really cheap. It was like a quid. Um, and you can sort of tell why. It's it's really, really dusty. And oh my God, and the packaging, it has a dent in there. Oh wow. You know what? I'm not going to complain because that could easily get a dust up. And you could probably, no, no, there's no saving this. This is, is an investment. A pound? Not bad. I never had a sand shoe and a sand slash, so I can't say no to it. And it's really light, so I can already tell what it is. Ooh! Oh, this one's this one's a good one. I've never seen these before. I mean, I've seen some of these. Like here we go again. Um, we have a we have a. Oh god, I'll get that off the table and pull them out as we go. This one is another slowpoke slow bro. Although this is like it's a different packaging. Comes with a master ball. The other one was just a pokeball. I think this is from the original set. Again, on the back, you've got the original first waivers. And it has like something interesting at the back. I don't know if you can see that. I, I don't know what that is. That's. Hmm. Well, I think that's what, what you get with the first ones. This one, I had never seen before. And the first, I, as soon as I saw it, I was like, I'm buying it. I'm buying it. <laughs> this is Dratini. And uh, Dragonair. I've never seen these as Pokemon battle. Uh, what are they called? Battle battle figures, yeah. I've never seen Dragonair or Dratini before. So I was like, yeah, I'm getting them. Getting them. Is that it? That is it. Okay, on to more. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but just on, on, the, on this side, it just has a really pencil uh, scribbled Pokemon. <laughs> There's just like, what is, what is inside? Pokemon? Oh my god, the other ones, the other ones, oh no, there we go, okay. These are um, starter beginner sets. Each one, I think, has a Machamp in. Uh, they also, oh my god, can't, can't really get close. It's so big, it is, like, I didn't realize it was this big when I bought it. Um, I think inside is, there is like three of these, three of these jungle uh, little packs. There is also, I think, like a set of shrink wrap ca wrapped cards that has Kangaskhan on. Maybe my champ one, there is counters. Also, a little thing of how to play. And I'm definitely gonna unbox one of these. That's why I got two of them. So look forward to that! Why is there dust in this one? Why? <laughs> oh God, this dead. Oh. Where did all this come from? We have yet another base tour box. Interesting. Oh, wow. Oh, I think I bought one that was like, this one was on the cheap because it's not sealed. As you can see, there is no shrink wrap on it anywhere, but it hasn't been opened. Oh, actually, hold on. So, oh, there's all the cards. Oh, oh, there's just so many of them. Can I, can I just quickly just do this while, uh, I just want to set it up. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. We have like the full on like set up -y. Oh, wow. Awesome. And all the cards. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, they're all here. <gasps> oh, God. Yeah, I need that. I think <laughs> this might be the box that I do the um, all the unopening of the cards, actually. Yes. Yes, definitely. And uh, the only way to get it out now is actually to, hold on, actually, is it possible? Yeah, there we go. Okay, well, that's awesome. Ooh. That's okay, I can deal with bubble wrap, that's fine. I don't mind that. Right, this is the unlimited 
jungle set. This one goes for about 200, 300 quid, I've already talked about. If, I think what people want from this one is probably the Aerodactyl or Scyther. I think they're probably the rarest ones to get from there. I'm gonna put it, I could probably annoy some people and put it there. <laughs> we should do it with that one as well. Oh no, not that one. That one's, that one's good, we need to keep that one. Yeah, we'll put that one on top of that one. We got two, two bases. I should do that whenever we get a double. Just like, stack it. Stack it on top so we got two of them there. And we have two, two there, wow. Oh, it looks so cool. And we've got those more to do. Apparently it has a $20 worth. I think that's a lie. That's a lie. I'll tell you a story, like, um, a lot of people buy these cards, or these, at least these ones, the base set, just to pull that Charizard. When I was a kid, I actually did pull it. Um, I, I was with my mum in town, and I was obviously being a little whiny brat, and I was like, Mom, I want Pokemon cards! And she was just clothes shopping. So she bought me one booster pack, and in that pack was a Charizard. I was so happy. I, as soon as I got home, like, I showed my friends, and he traded me all of his cards. We're talking about Shiny Magneton, Shiny Chansey. And uh, the next day, I was like, oh, I miss my Charizard. And like, we met up and he was like, do you mind if I have all my cards back? I was like, yeah, I'll take my Charizard back. <laughs> so that, that was nice. Ooh, oh, ooh, I can sort of see what this is. I remember, again, it was another one on real cheap because it wasn't, it's not factory sealed anymore. And for my display, I didn't care. This is in this is the unlimited. So we have unlimited, actually unlimited sealed jungle. And we have an unlimited open uh, fossil. Let's just check to see if all the cards are inside. I mean, I, there's like 32 or 36. There's quite a few of them. Oh, oh wow, interesting. It has. It's actually the English cards, but each one is stamped with. I think that is the Japanese. I think that's yen. Will you stop falling over? This is, that's the yen logo, right? Oh, I think this one came from Australia and maybe that's why. Ooh, there. So <laughs> we got loads of them. And you, I don't know, is it is it the back one that falls over? No, it's all of you. Okay, I'm gonna place you, I'm gonna place you there. You can, you can be there from now on. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine left to go. We're gonna open a pack because I think I know what this one is. Again, that worth was not $20, they lied. <laughs> if it was worth $20, I would buy hundreds. Oh, not hundreds. I, I mean, I think I've bought, I bought a few just to sell on. Um, I think I can see one that is ready to be sold because uh, it was such a bargain. I was like, I don't need that. But I might sell it. Oh yeah, Don't, didn't even know what this one was. I remember buying this and being like, what the hell is that? And here it is. This is, oh my God, I think this is a time capsule. This has the Machamp in. I think every Machamp is actually a first edition. This might be base two Machamp. I don't even know if base two Machamp's even a, a thing. But this one is a CD-ROM. It has also, <laughs> it's base two, um, it has, 30 card decks, damage counters, one coin, one starter game guide, one advanced rulebook, one playmat, and one instructional CD-ROM. And I think that CD-ROM is gonna be hilarious. I think we should watch that because I, <laughs> I think it's gonna be horrendous. Um, I think I've seen some uh, of how to play, how to play Pokemon, like terrible CG. And I think that one might be one of them. Oh, I think. I think this is from Dave and Buster. I think this is. This has some really awesome cards in. Right, so first off, we got my free little pack from Dave and Buster's, which is a Yu-Gi-Oh! And I've never played Yu-Gi-Oh! But they were the only ones I was like, yeah, yeah, they were, they were, I'll, I'll take those. They are, what are they, Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card, battle pack, epic dawn. Sounds awesome. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put them over there. Yeah. <laughs> so this is, Three of the Aerodactyl Fossil. The reason why I bought these was because they were really, really dead cheap. So we got three of those. We have three of the Zapdos. We have three of the Lapras. But what is, I saw and I just had to snap up. These are base sets. 
Oh, you might be thinking, ah, oh, they're just base heads. Wrong! There's something new with these ones, something different. I'm trying to quickly show you that. Now, do you see that little black triangle? In a factory somewhere far away, there were uh, first edition um, Pokemon card sets. But they didn't have any more first edition cards, or supposedly. So what they did instead of uh, throwing away the packets, they instead printed a black triangle over the first edition logo. And if I have a quick look, you can't see it on the Venusaur too well. You can't, oh, you can, you can just see it. Actually, you can see the bottom of it. I think, yeah, Charizard's not too great. It is actually, Blastoise is the easiest one to see. Um, if we just get a really, really close up shot here. Uh, underneath there, it's just slightly sticking out that half semicircle. That is the first edition logo right there. So they made a mistake. There is no first edition cards in here. These are just um, probably unlimited. But again, they're just, it's such a, like a rarity that like having them unopened they're worth so much more than opening them and just finding out they're regular and probably nothing special either. What do we have here? Oh yes, we haven't actually had one of these yet. Yes, this. Ugh. Go away. And don't don't fall on me. Don't kill me. Oh my god, there is so much wrapping there. Okay, this is the first edition Team Rocket set. Focus camera. There we go. So this is the first edition set. Uh, the one you'd want from here is shiny. Dark Charizard. Uh, I, I will say I was never a fan of the Rocket cards. Um, give you a quick 360 of the box. We have some Team Rocket grunt there. Um, Team Rocket's on the loose! And the the card art from Warp to River. So these are the ones you get, I think. Uh, Dark Golbar, Dark Gyarados, um, Dark Charizard, Dark, dark Jimmy. I don't know if, not all of them are dark. I think only the rare ones are dark. The rest are just like Slowbro, Electrode. Actually, Dark Slowbro might be one. So that is something I've been waiting for for quite a while, actually. Oh, we're reaching. Oh, this one's a heavy one. This one's a heavy one. And I think I know what this is already. I probably said that to all of them and then went, oh, this is new. <laughs> eh. Apparently high heels are in here. So we're, we're about to splash the cash. Unless this is like a Whitney pack. This is Whitney's package. Oh, it came! It came already! Okay, okay, right. Hold on. I need to show this. <gasps> wow! This was, uh, it went on eBay and it, it had some, quite some rare items in it. Most of them I wasn't fussed about, but um, I just saw it and I was like, I have to buy it. So first off, we have a Game Boy sealed gold. That's my game! I had this as a kid! And it's sealed, so oh, I'm so happy about that one. We have the, uh, these are the long packs I was referring to a while ago. I'm gonna take that actually out and put that down there. So, ah, oh, these are pretty cool. Um, I remember having a friend, we went to his birthday or something when we were a kid, and usually we're used to getting the single packs, and he got these, and I was like, and my friend as well, we were like, eh, what are those? Eh, those are bad. <laughs> but now I'm like, I want those. I need them for my collection. So again, we have the, the Aerodactyl, the Zapdos, which you've just seen, and the Lapras. Ech. I don't know what this is. This is, it's got, oh, what's it called? What's that Pokemon called? Uh, God, Deoxys. Is that it? I think it's Deoxys. And it seems really light. It's got three booster packs, two pop cards, and a premium collection collector's box. No idea what that is. Um, okay. <laughs> But, oh, we have loads of cards. Absolutely loads of cards. That's right, I, I wasn't bothered about these ones. But we have a um, a gym challenge. The gym, you know these gym cards? I never thought they were legit when uh, people started bringing them to school. I was like, what What the heck's a Koga? That that can't be real. You can't have Koga's Golbat or something. Uh, so we have, oh wow, we have that one. Those cards are slipping and sliding about in there. We have a... Uh, a Eureka's, Eureka's, what are these ones? These are the heroes, there's a challenge in the heroes. We have a Blaine, Blaine deck. These all together were really, really cheap. So there is a Sabrina, we have a Brock. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> this is so awkward because I'm kind of like climbing over these. 
uh, a misty one. I can't really I can tell you what actually. If I hold it about there, you can get a better view of it. There we go. So we have a misty one. And then also, what was awesome in this set, we have uh, the base two. We have base two, uh, all of their right who's upside down, all of their card art. Eh. That Gyarados. The, the card art for these ones isn't too great, I will admit. It's pretty bad uh, for the base two. It's the cards inside that you want. You don't want the artwork. So the Mewtwo as well. And then these ones, we have a Team Rocket first edition, which we've already got, but it's nice to get another one. Uh, another Misty. I thought these were in Japanese, actually, when I got them. And that's why I wasn't bothered about these ones. But these are first edition. I didn't even know. These are first edition. That's awesome. The first edition Brock. A first edition Misty. A first edition... You, you, Erika, Erika, and the first edition Lieutenant Sarge. Oh my God! And then another first edition Rocket. But the PS de Resistance is this. Oh yeah! This is an unlimited. Um, what is it? It's something here. I think it's Jim Heroes. It's either Jim Heroes. Yeah, it is Jim Heroes. Jim Heroes box set. Uh, that this was the reason why I bought the set. Like seriously. If you're looking for cards that are um, cheap, not because you go on eBay, you're gonna find and Amazon, you're gonna find the most expensive cards anywhere. I would suggest go to car boot sales, go to um, just type them in on YouTube. Sometimes misspell Pokemon because some people put it up as listings because they they're not really interested, and the people that sell them for really cheap uh, don't really know about Pokemon. They're just like, oh, I'll just sell this. It might not be worth anything, but let's sell it anyway. Uh, I found a really, really good selection. I hope it's here. I do hope it's here because um, there is a, a lot. There is a lot. They, it was like these base cards, the ones, these ones, the Blastoise and Charizard, they were selling them for seven pound each. Seven pound. And they go for like 15 or 20 quid. And I was just like, I have to buy all of them. <laughs> I just have to. Uh, so we are, are we actually done with the cards? No, we're not. We have... One more set of cards. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. This is super rare, absolutely super rare. Now, you may only think for the jungle and fossil, there was two sets. There was an unlimited set, which is that one, and below it, the first edition set. No, there was another one. There was a European one, and there it is. You may notice the big difference. Pokemon is in red. That's the difference, and all the cards inside are Pokemon in red. The uh, cards themselves have a slightly different thing on the bottom. So if you're a really hardcore collector, um, there is a fossil version of this. But as I know, the fossil version like no longer exists. They've all been opened and only a few like single packets remain. So that is a good one to have. And I should definitely place it there because it's not gonna fall over or anything. <laughs> Again, Completely forgotten what they are, so it's a surprise to even me. Ah, oh, we have a thank you, thank you for buying. Please check out my website. Again, these are a, uh, oh God, take that off. Oh, I heard my phone. There it is, I thought I lost my phone for ages, but no, it's there, okay. Eh. So I'm just gonna take them out there, little, little nice packet. And there we go, we have the full selection of Eh. Base 2 again. I bought a lot of Base 2 actually. I just want to open them. I want the full set of Base 2. So I'm going to place them there. Childhood was the best. <laughs> I've never really grown up anyway. Oh, that's, yeah, I was wondering. Here we go. We have the Neo Genesis cards. So let's, let's have a quick trick. And these are first, these are all first editions as well. So we have uh, Typhlosion. That, my first ever starter was uh, Cyndaquil, so Typhlosion. Uh, Feraligator, Meganium, and another Feraligator. Hold on a second, where's Luigi? I, th I bought these, I bought all four of them because I wanted Luigi. Ah, that means I'm gonna have to go on a hunt to find Luigi. Well, let's just open this one now. Oh, that's a horrible noise. Oh yeah, here we go. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? The final one, yeah, I think, yep, definitely the final one, is all jungle things. These I was gonna sell because they were so, so cheap. Literally, the, the, the full box, I, I can't, I can't just, there is, 
it is just all filled. Like we could we could tip that over, as you can see. It is just all filled with cards. <laughs> like just all of them. You could take a massive handful. Ah! All cards. There was about 70 odd cards in here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, so if I wanted to, I, I could get the full uh, collection of Jungle Leaves are Unlimiteds. But the thing is, I've already got. So there is these ones I am tempted to sell. So if you guys are watching and you're wanting to buy some uh, some jungle cards, or if you've got an offer for anything that's really here, and a good offer, I mean, because, like, I, I, I sort of know how much they're worth. But so if you are generally interested, you could uh, leave a comment in the video. But wow, like there is just so you can't see. Like, you see up to where uh, there. There is loads. There is so many, so much of this, and that that sums it up. I do have more coming. I have about um, of the base sets. I have another four boxes coming because they were really cheap. I found. I actually found a seller on Gumtree who was selling the boxes for real cheap. The same person who's selling the uh, base set of uh, the Blastoise and Charizard and Venusaur of these uh, individual packs for seven pound. So I do have a big lot of that coming at some point. And um, I think there's some other ones, I don't know, but I would just, I'm just so happy that I can just now make an awesome, like sort of thing of all of them, a lovely display and just, ah, that is my childhood right there. That is my child. Who would have thought at my age I'd be 75 in Pokemon Go? Well, enjoyed this video, leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye. Oh god, how do I get out? Yeah.